Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, have you ever found yourself waking up between 3 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m. pondering why you're awake while the rest of the world sleeps? You might assume it's just your body's internal clock at work or something of that nature. But in Islam, these early hours carry deep spiritual importance in our life. It's not merely a coincidence. There's a profound reason why Allah might be waking you at this time, but you might not know why. The hours before dawn, known as the last third of the night, are considered sacred in Islam, a time when Allah's blessings and mercy are closest to us. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Our Lord, the blessed, the superior, descends every night to the nearest heaven when the last third of the night remains, saying, Is there anyone to invoke me so that I may respond to his invocation? Is there anyone to ask me so that I may grant him his request? Is there anyone seeking my forgiveness so that I may forgive him? For many, waking up during these hours might seem inconvenient, especially in a world filled with distractions, endless social media scrolling, work pressures, and daily stress. However, what if this wake-up call is an opportunity, a gentle nudge from Allah to reassess your priorities, step away from the noise, and reconnect with him? In this video, we're going to explore seven powerful practices you can embrace when you find yourself awake at this sacred time. So make sure to watch the video very to the end and don't forget to subscribe for more such contents. These practices go beyond rituals. They're about transforming your life, finding peace, and drawing closer to Allah in ways that can profoundly change your heart and soul. Number one, engage in Tahajjud prayer. The first and most crucial action you can take when you wake up between 3 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m. is to engage in Tahajjud, the night prayer. Tahajjud isn't just any prayer, it's a voluntary act of worship with a special place in Islam. For many, prayer has become something we rush through, a task to tick off our to-do list. In a world where we're constantly distracted by social media and life's demands, it's easy to lose sight of the depth and tranquility that prayer can bring. Yet, Tahajud offers a unique opportunity, a chance to step away from everything and connect with Allah in the stillness of the night. You don't need to begin with long, intricate prayers, just start with a few. The key is sincerity and consistency. As you make this a regular practice, you'll find that these moments of solitude with Allah become something you cherish, a time to unload your worries, seek guidance, and find peace in His presence. Number 2. Make Supplication one of the most profound acts during these early hours is making supplication. The last third of the night is a time when Allah is closest to his servants, attentively listening to their supplications. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Our Lord descends every night to the lowest heaven when one third of the night remains. And he says, Who will call upon me that I may answer him? Who will ask of me that I may give him? Who will seek my forgiveness that I may forgive him? In our fast-paced world, we often forget to pause and ask for what we truly need, whether it's seeking guidance in a difficult situation, asking for strength to overcome personal challenges, or simply praying for peace and contentment. Supplication is a powerful tool, it's your direct line to Allah, a way to express your deepest fears, hopes, and desires. Have you ever felt lost, unsure of the next step to take? Instead of letting your worries overwhelm you, use this time to pour your heart out to Allah. He is always there, ready to listen and respond to your prayers. Making dua during these hours isn't just about asking for worldly needs. It's about building a strong personal relationship with your Creator. You don't need to follow a specific formula. Just speak from a heart, whether it's in your own words or using the supplications taught by the Prophet. What matters is the sincerity and trust you place in Allah. Over time, this practice will not only bring you closer to achieving your goals, but also provide a sense of peace knowing that you've entrusted your affairs to the one who controls all things. Number three, seek forgiveness. In those quiet hours of the night, one of the most powerful things you can do is seek forgiveness from Allah through istighfar. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, glad tidings to the one who finds in his record plenty of seeking forgiveness. This hadith underscores the immense value of istighfar not only as a means to cleanse our sins, but also as a path to bringing blessings and tranquility into our lives. In today's world, it's easy to get caught up in actions that distance us from Allah, whether it's neglecting our prayers, indulging in gossip, 
or spending too much time on social media. We all make mistakes, and these errors can weigh heavily on our hearts, leading to guilt and unease. But the beauty of Islam lies in Allah's vast mercy, always ready to forgive. When you wake up between 3 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m., it's an ideal time to reflect on your day, acknowledge your shortcomings, and sincerely ask Allah for forgiveness. This isn't just about reciting words, it's about feeling the weight of your sins and genuinely seeking Allah's mercy. As you make istifar a regular practice during these hours, you'll start to feel lighter, more at peace, and more connected to Allah. Have you ever noticed how holding on to guilt can cloud your mind and weigh you down? By consistently seeking forgiveness, you can clear your conscience, renew your faith, and start each day with a clean slate, ready to face the challenges ahead with a peaceful heart. Number 4. Reflect on the Quran. The early morning hours, when the world is still and quiet, provide an ideal time to connect with the Quran. The Quran emphasizes the importance of these quiet moments for reflection and understanding. Indeed, we have sent it down as an Arabic Quran that you might understand. These peaceful hours allow you to immerse yourself in the words of Allah without the distractions of daily life, giving your mind and heart the clarity to truly grasp the message of the Quran. In today's busy world, finding time to genuinely reflect on the Quran can be challenging. We might read it quickly or listen to it passively, but how often do we take the time to ponder its meanings and let its wisdom penetrate our hearts? The early morning hours offer a unique opportunity to do just that. Reflecting on the Quran during this quiet time can help you reconnect with your faith on a deeper level. Have you ever felt disconnected from your spiritual path or struggled to find meaning in the routines of daily life? These are common feelings, especially in a world full of distractions. By regularly setting aside time to read and reflect on the Quran during these sacred hours, you can nurture a deeper spiritual connection and gain clarity in your purpose. The Quran isn't just a book to be read. It's a guide to be lived by, and there's no better time to internalize its teachings than in the peaceful silence of the early morning. Number 5. Make Supplication for Others Another powerful practice during these early hours is making supplication, not just for yourself, but for others as well. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The supplication of a Muslim for his brother in his absence will certainly be answered. Every time he makes a supplication for good for his brother, the angel appointed for this particular task says, Amin, may it be for you too. In today's world, we often become so focused on our own struggles and desires that we might overlook the needs of others. But Islam teaches us the importance of community, compassion, and selflessness. When you wake up between 3 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m., it's a perfect time to pray for your family, friends, and even those you may not know personally who are in need. Think about this. How often do we ask Allah for blessings, guidance, or relief but forget to pray for those around us who might be struggling even more? By making supplication for others during these sacred hours, you not only help them through your prayers but also purify your own heart, fostering a sense of empathy and connection with the Ummah. Praying for others can also have a profound impact on your own spiritual well-being. It shifts the focus from your own challenges to the broader needs of the community, reminding you of the interconnectedness of all believers. Number 6. Practice Gratitude Finally, one of the most powerful things you can do when you wake up between 3 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m. is to practice gratitude. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the importance of gratitude, saying, He who does not thank people is not thankful to Allah. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to overlook the blessings we have instead focusing on what we lack or desire. But gratitude is a key to contentment and peace. When you wake up during these quiet hours, take a moment to reflect on the countless blessings in your life, your health, your family, your faith, and even the trials that have brought you closer to Allah. Practicing gratitude during this sacred time isn't just about listing things you're thankful for. It's about deeply acknowledging the countless ways Allah has blessed you and letting that gratitude fill your heart and guide your actions. This practice can transform your perspective, helping you focus more on the positive aspects of your life and less on the challenges or shortcomings. It can also strengthen your relationship with Allah as you recognize His continuous blessings and mercy in your life. 
By making gratitude a regular part of your early morning routine, you'll find that it not only brings you closer to Allah, but also fills your day with positivity and contentment. Number 7. Contemplate your purpose. The quiet hours between 3 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m. are an ideal time for deep reflection, especially when it comes to contemplating your purpose in life. Islam teaches that each person has a unique purpose, a role to fulfill in this world that aligns with Allah's will. The Quran reminds us, and I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to lose sight of our true purpose. We often get caught up in worldly pursuits, forgetting the bigger picture. But waking up in these still hours provides a rare opportunity to step back and reflect on what truly matters. Are your daily actions aligned with your purpose as a servant of Allah? Are you living in a way that pleases Him and brings you closer to your ultimate goal? These moments of solitude are perfect for reassessing your priorities and making a renewed commitment to your purpose. Whether it's focusing more on your worship, improving your character, or serving your community, use this time to realign your actions with your ultimate goal of pleasing Allah. Contemplating your purpose regularly, especially during these early hours, can bring a sense of clarity and direction to your life. It helps you stay focused on what truly matters, keeping you grounded in your faith amidst the distractions of the modern world. In conclusion, waking up between 3 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m. is not just a random occurrence, it's an opportunity from Allah to draw closer to Him. By embracing these seven practices, you can transform these sacred hours into a time of profound spiritual growth, peace, and connection with your Creator. Remember, it's not about perfection or grand gestures. It's about sincerity, consistency, and making the most of the opportunities Allah places in your path. As you incorporate these practices into your life, you'll find that the early hours of the morning become a time you look forward to, a time of reflection, connection, and spiritual renewal that can positively impact every aspect of your life.